My company just moved uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, from one office building to another. We had been across the street from uh, Google headquarters, and now we're a few miles down the road at, uh, uh, near the uh, Great America uh, theme park. Uh, so at the moment, my uh, office is pristine, uh, but that's because I haven't uh, actually uh, uh, worked in it yet. Uh, my office would be, tend to be rather uh, messier. Uh, I, uh, the way I think is, is not linear. Um, the way I uh, consider problems, uh, I just have to let things stew around, bubble. Uh, like a, uh, I can't say what's going to be important, but pretty soon the important thing bubbles up to my consciousness and then I, I do something about it. So my office tends to reflect that. You know, I got my hands in, in uh, 30 or 40 different pots simultaneously and, and, and uh, so uh, I, I have a little bit of all of that where I work. Oh, I'm definitely a night owl. Um, I, uh, I get going about the time my, my wife crashes and goes to bed. Uh, and uh, in some sense, uh, I, I've had to um, learn to uh, be more, more of a catnapper in recent years because um, uh, Pearl development, Pearl design and development has become a worldwide phenomenon. And uh, not just mailing lists, but uh, RSC channels, um, Twitter even. Um, this all happens 24 hours a day. Um, and people come up with questions uh, uh, at any time of day or night. I have people working on this in, in Europe, in Japan, China, Australia, India, South America all over the world, except maybe Antarctica. Oh, I think we even have a Pearl programmer in Antarctica. Uh, uh, but um, so I, I've had to learn to kind of sense when the, uh, when the questions would be coming and be ready to, uh, uh, to handle them. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, education and, and reiteration that happens on these online channels. And it's sometimes it's tempting to just say, tempting to go, just say, well, just go and read the documentation. But you know, uh, people uh, appreciate being uh, led along and, and taught and mentored. And uh, this is part of the reason I'm not too concerned about the future of Pearl after me, because I see how these people are interacting with each other. And even when I'm not there, they are um, they are helping each other uh, and um, you know solving each other's problems in in a way that. Uh, even in a way that, that I could not do, even if I were there. So uh, uh, while I uh, have uh, historically been uh, a late, uh, late worker, you know, sometimes I, I even like to get up early and, uh, and see what's uh, happened in the, in the few hours of the night. And then um, I often take a nap in the middle of the day just to uh, sort of make up for uh, stretching my day out. Well, <clears throat> coffee is my drug of choice generally, with a little bit of Pepsi here and there if I need more sugar. Um, but uh, yeah, if I, if I could do intravenous coffee, uh, I would. Uh, but uh, I guess that's pretty standard. <laughs> I used to not be able to listen to music. I was uh, raised a musician. I played in uh, classical music, violin, in uh, orchestras and uh, music comedy theaters. I, I have music running around in my head all the time. And if I hear music that's too interesting, I have to pay attention to it. Um, uh, for a while there, I, I, I could uh, really only work if I had sounds of uh, ocean surf in my head. Um, lately, though, um, I find that uh, uh, music like that is very complicated uh, structurally like jazz, uh, I can actually listen to that and uh, work at the same time because um, I can just let it wash over me uh, and not have to, to bother analyzing it. It just, uh, that works for me. Never, never put off till tomorrow what you can put off till the day after tomorrow. Uh, I uh, like a variant of the song, uh, uh, tomorrow, only it's it's more the idea, the the uh, Mexican idea of manana, manana, manana. I love you, manana. You're always a day away. Uh, 
So, um, yeah, I, I procrastinate, but um, mostly because there's always too many things to do. And I got the stew in my mind that things do bubble up. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw things in there and, and let them stew around. And uh, it's sort of like uh, greasing the squeaky wheels in my own brain. Uh, when something gets loud enough or I feel guilty enough about it or somebody else uh, complains about it or I just feel it's, it's the next thing to do, then, then the thing will deprocrastinate itself at an appropriate time. And um, basically, uh, you know, there's just so much stuff flowing past on the Internet now. You, ha you have to let most of it go. And um, uh, I, I've uh, grown accustomed to, to the process of not worrying too much about the stuff I'm not getting to because the, the important stuff will come back around. Mm -hmm.